today. What's that? Um, I was just letting you know I was calling in today. You already yeah, left out yeah, to your truck? Yeah, I'm gonna be busy doing mad wheelies. <laughs> So one of the things before we head up to Ferry to Ferry, um, we're bringing this pre-bug to, is I had to get new tires for this thing because this one has a slow leak. It's probably already flat right now. Yep, and it goes flat in like 10, 15 minutes. Um, I was waiting on somebody to send me the matching rim because I put a disc front swap on this, so I have the newer style pre-bug wheel on the front to go for the disc front end, and I have the drum style one on the rear. Hopefully I'll find someone. I need the matching back wheel. I don't care what color because I might end up painting it white regardless, but I need to find one of those. So if you have one, please let me know. Uh, but now I gotta put brand new tires on this old ram. But they're pretty much matching the Ray Gay Michelin tire that I have on my other pre-bug. So I can't find these tires anymore, but I was able to find these and they're damn near the exact same and I heard uh, a lot of good about these. So we got new front and rear, for sure doing the rear today. And uh, it's questionable if we'll get done with the front, uh, but if not, the front's fine. Um, in Mop Boys fashion, we got the bike hanging from the roof. So I'm just gonna undo the exhaust bolts, pull the exhaust off, pull the wheel off, and then get to work on the tire. So I'm gonna have to do this again now if I get a new back wheel, but. That was on there. That's a strong impact. You know, the That's why the brakes are good on this. I forgot I got that brand new brake in here. All right, got the wheel off, and sure enough, right when I pulled it off and I went to stand on it, the actual valve stem broke right off. So I know the valve stem's toasted, but we need. It was time to put new tires on this thing anyway because these tires are just—they're uh, old. They're dry rotted. They have sun cracks all over them. So just put a new valve stem in it. Got the new tire. It's going on the back one. Oh, actually, it's this one. Good thing I just looked. One thirty. So yeah, good thing I looked, it's the big boy. So we're gonna put that on, make sure it's the right direction, which would be rotation this way, and uh, lube her up, got some soapy water right there, and just go at it with the tire irons. Got the freshie on the old rim, and we got it all in there, I cleaned it up a bit behind the tire, and the casing and everything, all the brake dust and dirt that was in there. Probably gonna pull this carb off and clean this carb before we go too. Oh, it looks like this thing got loose in the throttle too. That could be a reason why. But it felt a little boggy in there, so who knows. Oh, and the plug cap's barely on. It's not even on. That's why it felt that way. All right, new tires on there, pipes back on there. Check real quick if we got an exhaust leak. Put a new plug in it too, because I noticed that it happened on my uh, stroker lead a lot. The plug got like flattened. And look right there. That big flat spot, that's where the clip was, so the clip rattled around until it literally flattened out the uh, actual part of the plug. That's what used to happen on my Stroker Elite all the time, and then the plug cap would fall off. This plug cap was like barely sitting on there, so that's why when RJ was riding last time, I could notice just standing next to him that it was low on power. But uh, now, put a new plug in it, so first kick. Alright, new back tires on. I'm debating if I even want to put the new front tire on right now because I'm going to get my new rim in once I you know, get the matching one. I'm probably gonna get them powder coated because I know I'm about to destroy this thing when I take it off. Literally made a tote full of uh, spare parts and tools to bring up with us to Seattle. Got some gas cans. There is one thing I need to do to this bike which I just remembered right now which was to fix the throttle cable that was falling out of the carb and uh, clean that carb out. So other than that, got this pre-bug ready. I'd say the F12 is 85% ready. Um, like it could be okay for the ride out but I would definitely like to get a little bit more tuning in on that. But I figured, why am I wasting so much time tuning it down here when I'm a thousand miles north in the country and uh, a lot lower of elevation because we're in the mountains down here. 
and it's going to be almost sea level, so the tuning's going to be completely different. We're at like 2,600 feet, I believe, here in Vegas, and it's like 100 feet uh, elevation there. So I'm going to mess with tuning again once I get to Seattle. So besides tuning, that bike's ready to go. And uh, yeah, like I said, pre-bug, just this one D has the old front tire on, but that's fine. I figured I'm going to just bring the new tire with us, and then I'm going to clean the car right now. We're actually leaving on this trip right now three days earlier than we planned. So I just got cut three days on prep time. So it's pretty much prep today and we're leaving tomorrow morning. All right, carbs all clean. Clean the inside out, clean all the jets. Clean the side case because it was filthy and most of this bike right now just cleaned it. RJ is four hours late and still hasn't woke up. So RJ's about to get kicked off the ride and it's about to be just your boy going up there. Feels and sounds so much better right now. Feels so snappy. New plug, cleaned up the carb. I also put the air filter cap on here. I'm wondering how it's gonna like that right now. So we're gonna try it out. But uh, this thing had a 108 main in it, which is like four sizes bigger than the setup I have on my uh, Red Zuma. But this one is a ported cylinder. <laughs> That was sketchy for me to wheelie that, like risky, because I did not tighten the brake after I put on that rear wheel. That was so sketch. That's such a good power band on this bike. Damn, I forgot how good of a bike this thing is, really, though. I don't need to see the joke. <laughs> I, I don't want to hear this thing. Loaded to the gills, man. All the way loaded up. Little crab shoes. <laughs> Head down the main day. Yeah. Wow, Chief, we're loaded up. F12, Zuma. Yeah. It's time. Headed to Reno. We got six hours. How are we feeling? A little scared. Okay, let's get it, Chief. Heck. Additional hour in the length of this uh, drive because of this construction going on. Hey. What's that? Um, I was just letting you know I was calling in today. Okay. Yeah. We're slow anyway, so. Oh, that's. You already left? You already yeah. left after your trip? Yeah, I'm gonna be busy doing mad wheelies. Oh, 100% with big mad wheelies, and I'll pass by all the females, and they're gonna be like, "Damn, who's that nigga?" I'm gonna be like, "Yeah, I'm, I'm him." And then, and then they're gonna try to shake some ass, Naya. There you go. You, hey, you know me. I'm him. Closer to Oregon. Antarctica on the left. Rocky Mountains on the right. You do, you Dream do, Girl on the right. You do wheelies, you can get yourself. This is my girl. You do wheelies, you can get yourself a girl like that. Stupid. As you can see, boys, 
We made it into Oregon now. Look at all this green everywhere. We got huge mountains in the background full of trees, trees, trees. These roads are sick. You need to drift them and wheelie them, all of them. So sick. We have made it to Hamlet Garage. <laughs> you look like a limo, bro. I can't even see in your truck. What's popping? Dude, <laughs> What's I literally up, couldn't even see in there. Are you up, Crab? Hey, Crab. You ready for wheelies? Yeah, day two. We're out here. I just edited this video. We're in Oregon. We're about to go riding today. I'll see you soon. <laughs>